Instagram and when you utilize this posting technique specifically, how it can level up your live art shows. And specifically what I'm gonna be talking about is how to maximize your marketing ROI when posting on Instagram. And so I'm gonna go through the whole entire flow step by step. Um, and then I'm gonna show how it pertains to live art shows. I might even run one of those live if I'm so inclined. Uh, and then I'm gonna finish up with some Instagram hacks, uh, which are interesting as well. So that's a game plan for today. For those of you guys that are live, huge welcome. Uh, for those that are watching on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter, welcome to you as well. Uh, you can leave comments throughout this thing if you are so inclined. For anyone that's listening to this after the fact on the podcast, this is more of a show than a show and tell. So there will be a link in the podcast feed and you can you can just click that if you want to see like the step by step technical or you know you can just listen to it too it's all good um but it's friday and i'm excited about this so i want i want to start up top and you know I, I like setting the table with some context and then once i do that we'll get into the tactical and then we're going to do this entire thing step by step um yes i will move it a thousand miles an hour i can't control that. that's how i'm wired but there will be a replay of it afterwards so you, got, you guys will all get emailed the replay. You can go back, pause the replay, watch each thing step by step, because obviously I'm gonna show the whole thing on, on the phone here on the screen. So, okay. Really, at, a, at the grand scheme of things, we have the TikTok to thank today for this, okay? TikTok, by which I mean the PRC controlled People's Republic of China, uh, a social media app called TikTok, is eating Instagram and Facebook's lunch. All of the young kids are flocking to it. This is just how it works. It used to be like all the kids were on Facebook and then all the parents got on Facebook and the kids are like, get me out of here. And then they went to Instagram, right? And then Facebook bought Instagram. And now all the kids don't even wanna be on Instagram. They just, it's not true, they're still on Instagram. But now they, they all ran to TikTok. And so as a result of Instagram losing so many users to TikTok, they just copied TikTok verbatim. And in so doing this, they also utterly, totally, and completely obliterated what has been the social media contract between Facebook and users up till now. And what do I mean by that? It used to be, in the early days, that we would all start our social media pages, and this is true about Facebook and it's also true about Instagram, and we would try to build as many followers as we could, right? And if somebody followed you, they would actually see your content. And that was essentially the social contract. If you wanted people to see your content, okay, you had to build followers, and then some portion of your followers would see your actual content. Well, TikTok came in, scared Instagram to death, they copied them verbatim, and now that contract has been torn up. Which means, if you create Instagram Reels on Instagram, Instagram will show your Reels to people that follow you, yes, but to a whole bunch of people that don't follow you, okay? What this means for all of you is you could have an Instagram account with zero followers, you could make a compelling TikTok, or a compelling Reel, and it could be seen by thousands and thousands and thousands. And I can't begin to stress how fundamental and profound of an opportunity that is for like literally all of us because it used to take years and years and years to build up followers, okay? And if you wanted people to see your content above your followers, you used to have to give Facebook and Instagram a whole lot of money in terms of ad spend. That is all out the window. That means all of you guys right now, if you're, does it doesn't matter where you're starting, doesn't matter if you have zero followers, you get a, you get a compelling reel in the water and it will be shown to so many people that it really just goes really, really far. So it's an, it's an incredible thing and it really is. It's like the first time that Instagram, Facebook secondarily, has actually had competition. Before, they've never had any competition. As a result, they've ripped up that social contract and our content will go further and further and further than it ever has before. So I wanna get right into the technique, right into the tactic, and this is just one particular posting flow that you can use on Instagram, okay? But it is extremely, extremely effective. We always look for, in our marketing, uh, a higher ROI out of a, out of a smaller effort, an ROI return on investment, right? This, this flow that I'm about to show you is incredibly powerful at achieving this, okay? It's just incredibly, incredibly powerful at achieving this. So I'm gonna go through it, sort of start to finish, talk about it at a high level, and then I'm gonna dive into it step-by-step -step tactical so we can all see what it looks like. Now, when you engage in this particular process that I'm gonna talk about, there is one thing that you have to do before you get started, I'm gonna come back to that. But what, we do, what we're doing here with this technique is 
we are leveraging Instagram's live broadcast, okay? So we start a live broadcast, we turn it on, we create a video. Once we finish the live broadcast, we save it. It gets converted into a reel, which then gets po posted into our Instagram feed, also ends up on our Instagram reels timeline, okay? Then we have the ability to take that reel and insert it in our Instagram stories, okay? So if, you know, when you, when you look, when you look at Instagram, right, and this is, this is the art storefronts profile that you guys are looking at here, you have everyone's feed, which everyone's come to know. This is our feed, obviously we over index on video, so there's just ton, a ton, a ton of video on ours. But this is the feed. You guys all have Instagram feeds like this too. The second tab is now all reels, okay? And so there's all the reels that we've created. And then the third is essentially Instagram Recently, stories. I went all in on my right. art career. So those are stories. Recently, I what, what, what most people don't understand is that each one of those represents a room in the house, okay? And the way that I like to think about it is like, let's say you guys were musicians, right? When you post on all three Instagram stories, Instagram feed, Instagram reels, you have the ability to pipe your music into all three rooms of the house. When you're just doing Instagram stories, you're only piping your music into one room in the house. And it's, it's, it's an interesting analogy to explain things, but all three are important. The feed is important, okay? Stories are important, and yes, reels are important. So you really have to create for all three, and when you do, you, meet, you, you, you hit the maximum amount of people, okay, on um, Instagram. And that's an incredibly important thing, and that's why this technique is so fantastic, because by one marketing effort, you hit all three of them, right? Which is just absolutely amazing. So I teased that there's a little bit of homework ahead of time on this. Some of you guys have had no experience with reels whatsoever. You have no idea about the finer points of them. Some of you guys are making them already. This is probably a new technique or tactic to most people. So just kind of roll with it and watch, and again, I can send you the replay. But before you make these, okay, you need to have a thumbnail ready to go. And when I say thumbnail, it's a, it's a JPEG that we use as a cover, okay? So these are reels, right? And you can tell the difference between the two, and, and, and this is important. So you'll notice this one here, right? What's up, Instagram? That's the actual video of me. And so because I did not have an image ready to go ahead of time, it just uses an image from the video itself. And you don't wanna do that, okay? You want to have something created ahead of time that has graphics on it. You can use Canva. You can use Photoshop. You can create it however which way you want to do it. It doesn't matter to me. You can hand draw it. But if you notice these other ones, you know, it's important to have the text on top because when people are just scrolling, you have to catch their attention. And it's a little bit harder to do that with just the video thumbnail. So one of the things that I love to do that I always do, except this one in here when sometimes I'm just moving too fast, is... Myself, my team, we will create these thumbnails so they're ready to go. And it can be whatever you're doing. Figure out what you're promoting and come up with a catchy little tile, 19 by 20, 1080 by 1920 are the dimensions, 9 by 16, right? Portrait size, the exact, the exact way you hold your phone, and have that ready to go. You need to have that ready to go, and it needs to be in the photo library on your phone, okay? That's the only homework that we have to do ahead of time. And when it's in the photo library on your phone, as I'll show you in a second, after we do the Instagram live broadcast, okay, we are able to go into our camera library, grab that thumbnail, and then save it before it turns into a reel. Now, this is really important for the views that you'll get after the fact. And so, you know, if it's the difference between doing this and not doing this, I don't care. But I'm recommending you do this because you're gonna get a ton more action out of it, okay? So the good news is that is literally it in terms of homework. That is all you have to do. So now I'm gonna be able to just walk through the entire thing step by step and I'll even make it somewhat real, okay? So I'm gonna put those down for a second, put my AirPods in, because if I'm gonna do this, I might as well do it for real. Um, and I'm gonna walk through the entire thing step by step, and then I wanna come back and sort of explain why I did some of the things that I did. Oh no, why did this just, oh, of course, right when I go to do it, it pops out. This is the joys of live broadcasting, it's always something. Give me, bear with me here while I get my phone dialed in and sorted, it's always something. Yesterday I was doing a live and I was like doing it from my car because I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm, like people are so sick and tired of seeing my stupid office or my green screen or whatever else. I'm, I'm going to do one from the car. And I put the phone on the windshield and about halfway through the thing, 
I start getting the, the phone overheating and it literally like conks out. It's done. <laughs> phone overheating, phone overheating. So that was, uh, that was a good time. Okay, hold on. This is being a pain in my butt. Come on now. Let's go. There we go. Come on. All right, we're almost there. Bear with me. Technology never behaving the way it's supposed to. All right. Did that do it? All right, good. We're back in action. Okay. So get out of there. I'm going to go back to Instagram. I'm going to go into my profile and the little plus button here, if you guys have never gone live, never done a live broadcast is how you do this. And so I'm going to do this in real time and I want you guys to watch. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go live. And I'm now live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? You guys are missing an incredible Zoom session that is going on right now as we speak in which I am highlighting uh, my most recent step-by-step -step, uh, Instagram posting methodology. The good news is, is that you're seeing this live broadcast, and as a result of that, you can actually join it if you like. All you have to do is leave me a comment uh, with the word Zoom down below. I wasn't live, by the way. I just forgot to press this button. Start that again. What's up, Instagram? Uh, Patrick from Art Storefronts here. You are missing an incredible Zoom session right now. Uh, I am teaching how to post in Instagram on a new technique that is absolutely crazy. You have no idea how to do this. You totally want to know how to do this. So if you want to join my Zoom session, all you have to do actually right now is leave a comment on this thing that says Zoom and I will send you an invitation to do it. Somebody will do that in the DMs and you can come and join us if you're so inclined. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. Okay, so I'm going to end the live broadcast now, all right? You guys track with me? I'm going to end it now. And you can see it says insights, all the rest of this nonsense. All we care about is share, okay? And so this is where the thumbnail comes in, right? So you see how there's the cover image? And so if I click the cover, right, normally it just lets you pick like a stupid thumbnail from here. But this isn't that compelling. This isn't anywhere near as visually compelling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one that I already had made. It's not like this is a great one, but let's just say and I'm gonna click done, right? So now I have a much more compelling thumbnail on it and what will happen after the fact once this becomes a reel is you will end up getting more traction on the reel because it is a more compelling thumbnail. It's just the way that it works. You can title it, you can title it any which way you want, FFFF, whatever, okay? Share. And so let me go back to my profile. It should be doing its thing and sharing. So what's now gonna happen is, and hopefully it all worked out, come on. Don't tell me that just derped out on me. Everything going wrong today at once. Let's see. Did you post or did you not? Okay, well, it doesn't matter if it did or not. So that is now live. That, that thing that I just saved, and it might have aired out because I was moving too quickly. But that is now live in my Instagram Reels section, okay? Or should be if I didn't screw it up. Oh, there it is. Good. It is. So now it's live in my Instagram Reels section. What's up, Instagram? Right? You can see it there. Uh, Patrick from Artstore. Friends here, you are missing an incredible Zoom session right now. Uh, I am teaching so, how to post. And it has the compelling thumbnail, right? So in addition to it being placed into your Instagram Reels now, because you just created a live broadcast that went to Reels, it's now also been placed, or should be, if I refresh this, into my feed. So you can see it's now in the feed as well. So I turned the camera on. I started talking. I saved the live broadcast to a reel, it went into my reel section, and now it's also in my Instagram feed. Next, all I have to do is What's click up, on it. Instagram? This is a sticky part. You have to be in your reel section to do this. So when you're in your reel section, you just click on the thing. What's up, Instagram? You click the airplane, uh, Patrick you go add Friends video to story, missing. and boom, it's instantaneously in there. And so now I can just go click, I can put some little emojis, some little text on it, and I can share it to my story. So in, in, in such a short period of time, I created the video, okay, on the fly, no video editing, no setting it up on a tripod, no hair, no makeup, who gives a crap? Ship it, right? I created the video, it's turned into a reel, I've taken the reel, which is now also in my feed, and I've saved it into an Instagram story, and I did all of that that quickly. That is a phenomenal ROI in terms of one marketing activity. That is a phenomenal ROI in terms of social posting, just period, okay? Just period. And 
that whole thing broken down, you know you have to make the video anyway, okay? Why wouldn't you just do it live and get it over with? Like, who cares? Honestly, it's easier. No one cares. Just turn the dang thing on and start talking. Do you be you. We're all human. We don't need the hair. We don't need the lights. We don't need the makeup. We don't need any of the rest of that nonsense. Is I have all the hair and makeup and lights. Um, I don't. That quickly, you can just make the video. And what happens with the live, okay, w what's great about it is you just go so quickly doing it, right? Like many of you don't have a ton of followers, so you're gonna turn your live on and it's probably only gonna be your mother watching. I don't care, no one cares. If you have a ton of followers, a bunch of people will tune in to the live and that's great. If you don't have any followers, it's just a way to snag a couple extra of them while you go live, right? Because you know, in many instances, when you try to do that and you have low follower counts, there's not gonna be that many people on, who cares? The whole idea is you have to do the work anyway. And so when I do it, I'm like, you know, 30 or 40 people normally turn into the Insta or ours, and we have, you know, 38,000 followers or whatever, right? So the, the fact that you can do that, go live and snag a couple extra people or just some extra people that you'll get, right? So it just gives you some extra juice out of this marketing activity. Then, then, boom, it becomes a reel. Now, Instagram these days essentially just converts any video that you have to a reel. So really, this thing is not a real reel, okay? Anyone that's created a reel is like, wait a minute, and I see it in the chat, you know, a reel can only be a minute and a half, right? So it doesn't matter. Any video that you place to Instagram is now a reel. Remember, they're trying to, d to destroy TikTok, so everything becomes a reel. The reason it's not a real reel is because you can't add any fancy music or any other editing techniques. The only thing that you can do is include that thumbnail that I just did, okay? So the only thing that you can do is include that thumbnail that I just did. And boom, live, reel in the feed, reel on the reel section, and boom, you have this ability to post a reel into your Instagram stories. And the beautiful thing about this too, and then I wanna get into the live art shows is- What's up Instagram? You can, uh, you can after you've created and gone through this process, you can go ahead and take that reel and you can post that reel into a story once a week, three times a week. You can take a couple of weeks off and then go back and grab it and put it in there again, right? So you've now forced yourself as a result of this live broadcast. You've now sidestepped the whole buggy uh, reels um, editor and you actually have a reel and a reel that you can save in your story. That is fantastically powerful, right? And there's zero time limit on this, okay? There's no time limit on it whatsoever because it's not a real reel. Remember, this is like where it gets weird, like everything Everything in Instagram, every video that you create is now a reel. That's just how they're doing it. But you are not limited when you when you create a live broadcast, you're not limited to that particular reel being the minute and a half section. So that's really, really powerful. Next, we have to see how this works in the context of a live art show. Live art shows were great before. The reason they're even better now is because as a result of being able to take your live art show on Instagram and turn it into a reel, the reels are organically going to get way more views than your live art show ever was before. When I say way more, I am talking about way more, okay? Way more, it's not even close. And if you have like a really good show, you're humorous or you're completely talented or you spill some wine or, or uh, your cat comes walking in or your dog is barking, something funny happens, it might go viral. You never know, it might get serious, serious action. So I, w I wanna, I'm gonna grab my little set of props here and I am now gonna go through doing the, the entire thing from start to finish on how easy this is. When I say how easy this is, I'm telling you right now, it is, it is something that you all should be doing on a weekly basis, okay? On a weekly basis. And Teresa's asking, this is not a real real, Teresa, okay? It's not a real real. There is no time limit on this particular technique or tactic. Because it's a live broadcast, Instagram just converts the thing into a reel. So it's not the traditional reel like you would normally construct one, okay? Now I'm gonna get back to this live art show thing. One of the things that I advocate all the time is you need to have samples of your work. You need to have the five major media types, okay? What are the five major media types? You need to have a fine art paper. It can be gloss or a textured fine art paper, whatever. You need to have canvas, you need to have metal, you need to have acrylic, 
and you need to have the would, okay? When you have the five main media types, you can have conversations about the five main media types. You can show them off on Instagram live broadcasts and look like you're a subject matter expert instead of showing nothing but 2D images in your feed. No one is buying JPEGs, okay? Everyone wants to buy the real thing. This is real, it's tangible. I can hold it up, I can touch it, I can see that it hangs on the wall. I'm not doing that with a JPEG. I can't hold a JPEG, right? So you need to have the real thing to show off. So I wanna, I wanna give you the context of how natural and like quickly you can, you can do something like this, okay? Where you can have a live art show and you can talk about one particular type of piece. And you know, I, I, I do this off the cuff and it takes two seconds with zero prep whatsoever and I actually have fun with it. So I'm gonna do the whole damn thing live again right now, why not? Now before I go live, I would have my thumbnail ready to go, right? Have your thumbnail ready to go. So I gotta remember to go back and delete all this stuff. So I'm gonna go live again. What's up Instagram? It is Friday. I've had a great week and I'm excited about things. So I figured why not have a flash sale Friday live art show? So what I wanna do first is I wanna talk briefly about the five main media types that I have in my store and for those of you guys that are watching on Instagram, this is not a real live art show. I'm actually teaching how to do a live art show that's very meta. If you want to get into the Zoom, leave me a comment in Zoom. So here are the five main media types that I have. One, I've got a textured fine art paper, okay? You can see the detail on it is quite beautiful. They all come framed in black because that's how I like to do it. They are ready to hang. Next, I've got a fine art canvas. People always ask me what that looks like. Here it is, you can see it in all of its glory. It's printed edge to edge. It's got nice felt backing, sits on the wall. You can put these in a floater frame or you don't have to. That is canvas. Also, in addition to that, I have metal. Metal is one of the newest entrants. It's very thin, comes with its own mounting plate on the back, ready to hang right out of the, right out of the box. And oh, by the way, look at the quality of the product. Look at the way that it sheens. Very thin on the back and I normally sign them and write little notes, a personalized note. If that's for you, let me know if you're so inclined. Next is acrylic. And to be honest with you guys, acrylic is my favorite media type. Very few people know how incredible uh, acrylic is. And it's some sort of a hardened plastic. I should know this, I don't even know this. It's some sort of a hardened plastic. You guys better know this, okay? Because this is what you sell. It's some sort of a hardened plastic. It's very thin, incredible sheen, absolutely bulletproof. One of my kids threw an entire cheeseburger at this thing the other day. I wiped it off, no problems at all, right? Ready to hang. And the final is wood, okay? Is wood. And so if you look at wood on the side, three quarter inch maple, uh, it's also ready to hang. Incredible detail in, in the subtle tones come out. So. I wanted to start the show that way to let you know that what I am about to put in terms of this flash sale is available on all five of those different media types. The image that I'm selling today, because it's Friday and I want to have a good time, is my shot of Hosiatana, okay? All the celebrities, if you look at the magazine, in the last month have been somewhere on the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Posiatano is always a famous one. This is an incredible image, and here's where you would talk potentially about your inspiration, and you would talk about how, you notice how interesting this hillside is? Believe it or not, none of those people are allowed to change the colors of the house. The city of Hosiatano demands that you can only repaint, you can never change your color. I don't care what story you tell, tell whatever story you're gonna tell, but merchandise the work and say, what we've got right now, this is something, by the way, fits perfectly in all of your bathrooms, okay? I've been in your bathroom, all right? Those walls are bare in there. No one wants to look at that while they're in there. Get some good art in your bathroom. Here's a good size. I would normally sell this for such and such. Right now, uh, I would normally sell for $395 because it's Friday and I'm having a flash sale and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm now gonna sell this thing for 150 bucks for the first 10 people that send me a DM on Instagram. Oh, and before I'm finished, because I have extra of these, I'm also gonna be blowing out some of my calendars. So anyone that orders right now will also get the, ca oh, you guys didn't tell me the freaking cell phone thing went out again. Unbelievable, um, that's twice. So anyway, that's it, Instagram. I was just doing a, uh, a demonstration. So there it is. I just finished the live art show, right? And I'm gonna delete it. I'm sorry the cell phone is having issues. I'm having computer issues today. Um, I just realized on the screen it says error server, which sucks. So there it is. I just did the live art show like that. It's now saved as a reel. The reel is now in my feed. And a few minutes later, I'm gonna go put it in and make it an Instagram story. 
Do you do, do you do you see how how quick that is? I just I just went through those various pieces and was able to show off my work, articulate it, talk about it, and everyone knows now that I'm having the flash sale, and that reel will end up getting hundreds to if not thousands more views, depending on the size of your follower count, than it would have before. That's incredible. That's not that's not been possible before. How easy was that just to do? Every single solitary one of you could do that. You, I, I'm looking at art behind all of you right now. All you would have to do is grab your phone and start talking. That's how easy it is. You can reach the entire world that way, which is absolutely, I mean, the entire world, but thousands more than you ever would have been able to before. So that is the technique. That is the posting tactic. I find it to be insanely effective. Uh, the, the feedback, the view count you get, um, the fact that because it's a reel, you can respond to comments with reels. I don't want to get into that today. We'll get into that in a separate section. But it is an extremely, extremely effective art marketing technique and tactic. Okay, and 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 I strongly encourage all of you guys to go for it. Honestly, go for it this weekend. Grab the phone, go live on Instagram, rewatch this thing if you have to see this step by step, and just give it a shot because it is it is honestly like one of the most effective things that that you could possibly do right now on Instagram. Now. I want to pivot out of that, and I want to pivot into, I'm going to try one more time with my phone. I really don't understand why this is doing this. It never does this. Ordinarily, this thing is like so um, structured. But I want to get into three hacks. And why I'm setting up the phone, I'm going to talk about hack number one. I, I, I've discovered that the way that Instagram Reels work, okay, is the minute that you post your Reel, the minute that you post your Reel, the Instagram algorithm takes an hourglass of sand and it turns it upside down. It waits until all that sand has run out of the hourglass and then it looks at your reel and it says, how many likes, comments, shares did it get? Did a ton of people watch it? Did a ton of people watch it all the way through? If a ton of people did watch it all the way through, they will then take that reel and show it to thousands and thousands and thousands of more people. If it does not pass the test, that reel is done. That reel is done. You're not going to continue getting a ton of views, a ton of views, a ton of views. And so people are always asking, like, you know, I have some reels uh, that are that are just gigantic. They explode. I, you know, I got so many views. And then I post another one, and it's utter, total, and complete crickets. Like, what's going on there? Do you have an explanation for that? I don't understand. And it's this phenomenon where Instagram lets it go for a few minutes, and then it comes back and it checks on it, and it says is uh, uh, how many likes, how many comments, how many shares, and really the most important one is, you know, when people are in the feed, stop breaking on me, phone. I'm really sorry, this is like, the whole reason you have a dummy phone is for this moment in time, and of course, it, it's derping out of me. Um, let's see, did it connect? Come on. It says it did. Bear with me here. Ah, good, it's back. Okay, good, so. Can you come back? Good. And hopefully it'll stay this way. Juan, if it conks out, will you just tell me in the headphones so I don't look like a Yahoo? Um, yep. My headphones are back on so I can hear myself. So knowing that, knowing that when you create a reel and when you post it, okay, um, your how far that reel is going to go is really just about timing and getting lucky sometimes. It's sort of like, you know, you never know when the fish are biting, right? Don't try and game it. Like people are like, what's the best time to post? There is no best time to post, okay? It's different. A whole bunch of, um, a whole bunch of luck comes into the equation. And it's literally like you go down to the fishing hole and you throw your line in the water. And sometimes there's fish there and sometimes there's not. You don't know when it's going to be. Everyone says go fishing first thing in the morning. You go in the morning skunked, right? And then someone comes at 5 o'clock and it's just raining. So it's totally random, okay? So what you can do when you actually create a reel Okay, and, and I should differentiate this because I know it's really confusing for some of you. What I showed earlier is not a real reel. That's everything that everything video that you do on Instagram, they automatically turn into a reel. That's what they call it, a reel. But technically, the real product is, you know, when you come in here and, let's see, how is that doing that? I gotta go here. And so I can actually show this. So reel. So when you come in here, right, and these things have a 90 second time limit. And, it, and you have the little editor in here. So now I'm talking about these reels, okay? So these guys, going back to what I was just trying to teach you, you can create one, you can post it, and if it doesn't get any action, delete it. Delete it, and then go fishing with it again a couple hours later. And what ends up happening when you do this 
you sort of have to have created enough reels to sort of understand what your baseline is. And let's say like you create a reel and normal for you is like, you know, if you, if I look here, it's like, okay, 1600 views, 800 views, 1541, 4,100, 5,000, 761, right? So this one, this one only has 800. I know I did something wrong there because these other ones are getting 1600. So I'll just delete it right now. I'll delete it right now. And then later tonight at like seven o'clock, boom, I'll post it again. And what will end up happening is if it passes that test early on, it'll really, really get rolling and it'll go out to a whole bunch of other people. Now, I hate teaching stuff like this because anything short term like this where you try to game the algorithm, you know, it's such a femoral knowledge, like, you know, it's not fundamental marketing stuff, but this has worked so effective for us, I can't even begin to tell you. So when you create a reel, when you go through that whole video editor and that whole process, which nobody likes doing, you know, unless you really, really like it, you can just go ahead, write in, delete that thing, wait a couple hours, upload it again, and see what happens. And a lot of times it will get a ton, a ton more traction, okay? That is a very, very important thing. Now, that's hack number one. Um, hack number two, and then I'm gonna go back to the live art show thing. Hack number two that I wanna talk about is stop sharing individual image posts like this. You see this? This is an individual image post. Okay, D stop doing it. Don't even share them in Facebook anymore. They're not even worth it. If you have a video, it's worth it. If you have a carousel of images, it's worth it. But individual posts, like do you know? Do you realize you like go through the feed and you can barely even find one anymore? Facebook, Instagram's not even showing them anymore. Unless, so like this one here, right? Like these ones, they're just not showing them anymore. You're barely even gonna get any action whatsoever. So like this one here, right? Is this a carousel or it's an individual? That's an individual one. So, oh no, that's a real. I mean, you could barely even find them in the feed anymore. And there's a reason because Instagram just decided they don't care about those anymore. They're over those things. The only reason that one showed up is an ad. So if you have like a single post that you think you're going to make and you would do it with like, a, you know, however you would do it, just stop. Don't do it. Don't do it anymore. It's not even worth it. It's a waste of time. Instead, take the single image, go into Reels, right? Go to your profile, go to Plus, go to Reel, cr upload the single image, okay? Leave it on there with some music and post that. Then Instagram is happy and they end up showing that post to thousands more people. So that is just obvious. And again, I hate it because it's short term. It's, it's totally short term thinking, but right now that is working like hotcakes. And so don't post any single images anymore. I think in terms of normal posts on Instagram, if you have a video, good to go, you can post it. If you have a carousel of images, especially where you're kind of telling a story with the carousel, right? And you're, you're, you're doing like the five or six or seven or eight images. That works great. Single images, waste of time. Turn it into a reel. 80% of what you're creating right now should be reels. It, 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 it just is. And I don't, I don't necessarily think that's a good thing for society, by the way. Okay? I don't, I, don't, I don't like how it's like rewiring brains and all the rest. But we have to be contrarian here. And if we are fishermen, we have to drive our boats to where the fish are. The fish are with the reels right now. That's just how it goes. So the technique that I showed you up at the top, okay, is all about how to quickly create reels that are actually live broadcasts uh, and, and do that. You still have to create the real reels, right? You still have to create the real reels. And stop doing the single image posts. As a final, okay, I want to I wanna show this. And so when you do the live broadcast, like I showed you before, okay, and we'll get into the Q&A right after this, don't worry. When you do the live broadcast, like I showed you before, because it is going to end up becoming a reel after the fact, and because you're going to end up embedding it in your story, okay, you got to get to getting up front immediately. You have to make the first, call it 15 seconds of this thing, extremely compelling, okay? Because if you don't, you are going to bore people, by which I mean, don't go live, okay, with this technique that I just showed you. Okay, guys, we're just going to give it a few minutes for everyone else to join. Uh, yeah, um, is it all working? No, okay, that thing's done. That thing's not going anywhere. You got to lead. You got to lead. You got to come right out with the right hook, okay? You got to come out right away. And you literally, in the, the minute that that live starts, you have, to, you have to sit here and go, what's up, guys, Patrick? You will not believe what I'm about to teach you right now in this live broadcast, da da, da da, da da, right? Like, and I'll show you, I'll show you an example. So this is the perfect context of it. <gasps> oh, it's out of the story. Is it out of the story? Yeah, it is, okay, here, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna share another one live that I did, which one is it? 
So this one? Yeah, this is the one for my car. So I'm going to put this back into my story. Get in there. Share. You see how quickly? See how quickly I did that? That's why these reels are glorious. I mean, none of you guys are ever making enough stories, period, end of sentence. And now you just realized how easy it is once you have the reels to feed it. But let's look at this and see. You should be able to hear this too. It's uploading. It's doing its thing. You can see it's a little uploading thing in the corner. What's up, Instagram? We're talking about your new Instagram posting strategy or what your new Instagram posting strategy should be. Oh, now, depending on when you I got you. I got you, right? And so when you look at the story... Like, What's up, Instagram? We're talking about... I should say, again, this is the technique that I just highlighted. Doing the Instagram live so the reel is much longer. When it's in your story, it Recently doesn't... Recently, I went all in on my art. It doesn't... What's up, Instagram? Long. We're talking about Let's your new this. Instagram posting strategy or what your new Instagram posting strategy should be. Now, depending on when you're watching this, you're watching it live, you're watching it after the fact, you saw it in a story. If you want to get my deep... Boom. That's where it cuts off, Right. So in, in terms of the story, you have a little bit extra time. In terms of the real, you have you have you really have the same amount of time. You have a, you have a minute. Well, you have a minute and a half. But the point is, when you make it, when you come on here and you go live, I'm telling you, like, get to this screen, get ready, <clears throat> contemplate what your hook is going to be, hit him with that hook immediately, hit him with that hook immediately, and then you can chill out for a few minutes while people join, right? Be like, what's, you know, who, what, when, where, why, boom. You should be watching this, right? Here's what's in it for you. And then you can be like, all right, guys, I'm going to get started here. Let me just make sure everything's working. We'll give, we'll give people a few minutes to join. So as long as you've hooked them up front, that creative unit is going to be much stronger in the story. It's going to be much stronger in the feed. It's going to be much stronger everywhere. So that's it. Is that my three hacks? Yeah, that's my three hacks. All right, from there, we go into Q&A. Um, how does Q&A work? So at the bottom of this thing, um, there's this little smiley face. It's like a reactions face, a little plus on it. You click that, you're able to raise your hand, okay? And that lets me know you have a question. There's too many of you on here with cameras. I won't see the old fashioned, normal, uh, traditional hand raise. We'll start with you, Arlene, let's go. And you'll need to unmute, Arlene. Yep, gotcha. Yeah, um, I just have a quick question and sure. it has to do with merchandising. Yes. Um, I set up a, a gift shop and I want to know if I'm going to put um, I have images of my artwork on merchandise. Yes. Can I somehow um, add the name like underneath the picture and put the name of the painting on it uh, with uh, Guten? You could if you wanted to, but then you would have to embed all of that in the image. So you, oh, would, have, you, you would have to, okay. like, yeah, you would have to like redo the, the file. I would I would I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I mean, the merch at the end of the day is just marketing, right? And I don't think you're going to get extra juice. Now, don't get me wrong on like the calendars and the coasters. I mean, I I would say at a macro, anything that is in physical print these days needs to have a QR code on it. It should have a QR code on it because now the whole world knows what QR codes are. Now, our product line at Art Storefronts doesn't have all that yet, Arlene, but we're working on it. So that's what I would say. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Jack Johnson, you're up. Hell of a guitar player. Huge musician. I don't know what he's doing here today, but how you doing, Jack? Can you hear me? Yeah, I sure can. So I'm still a little confused. Like when you did that live, mm -hmm. it ran a lot longer than 90 seconds. If it's going to automatically become a reel, is Instagram going to cut it back? No. So, and I realize this is confusing. Okay. This is confusing for me. I don't even fully understand it. Every video that goes to Instagram gets converted into the reels format, okay? If it's longer than, than the 90 seconds, it ends in a minute and a half and it says, do you wanna keep watching and puts a button on it, okay? So that's what it does for the longer videos. And that could be from a live broadcast or that could be a video that's you pre-recorded and you uploaded. They're all gonna get turned into reels. When you make an actual reel through the Instagram editor, like I've shown, like where you go in, oh, it's not on the screen anymore where you go in like this, then you are limited to 90 seconds. So on these ones, okay. you're limited to 90 seconds. So it's really just a nomenclature issue, really, at the end of the day. So how does this interface with Facebook? Because I use this meta, it doesn't. this meta plan. It doesn't. It doesn't. You have to download the reels out of Instagram and then go and post them to Facebook. All right. So my last question yes. is if, if posting uh, static images is a, a dead issue, 
On Instagram, on Instagram, it is. Yeah, why did, why did I just spend two grand yesterday to pay ASF to post my, do my Instagram post for uh, the next six months? Every single solitary time, like one of these tweaks comes in and we get, we learn the new information, we switch the program. So what, 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 where so am I at? What should I be the doing images, with The images will now start getting posted as reels. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the crew that's going to do this for me, cause I just signed up like yeah. two days ago. Yeah. 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 Oh, They're this is, know this, this is like, this happens like every two weeks. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, uh, I would, I would love to say it doesn't, but like, you know, that our, our whole like, you know, iteration cycle is market like hell ourselves all day, yeah. every day, all over the place, learn yeah. the thing. Once we learn the thing, feed it back into the system. And to be honest with you, like, Six months ago, reels weren't even this big of a deal. We were barely even talking about it. Now we're all in on reels. And it's, it is the, the number one frustration of the world that we're now in is like they, they, the goalposts, they move the goalposts so quickly. It's insane. Like by the time you even get used to this thing, they've moved them over here and they've moved them over there. So the good yeah, the, so, I, so yeah. how do they expect a 67 year old guy who does absolutely nothing, knows nothing about social media to keep up with this? That's why I hired you guys. That's exactly right. That's why you hired us. Now you don't have to. Now you don't have to worry about it to the same extent that you did. But you still have to. You Jack, you, you still you. Ha, you still have to do the work though. You still got to do the work, right? Like yeah. You know the the and thank you, Jack. The, so he, he for those of you guys that are not customers, we have an in-house marketing agency that helps people, right? And my biggest fear when when folks like Jack and others get onto the marketing agency, they're like, okay, I don't have to do anything. I'm I'm good. I'm good to go. And I'm like, no, 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 no. All, all the agency is is a tailwind to your plane that's flying anyway, right? We're going to just keep pushing you faster and faster and faster. And, and the idea is just to keep getting moving quicker and quicker and quicker. And it's infuriating. I mean, it's, it's like literally infuriating. And I, and I start getting scared because I'm a huge tech nerd myself, and I always have been. And I see some of the things that my kids do. And I'm like, oh, God, am I losing my edge? I don't even think I can figure that out anymore. Am I losing my edge? So I freak out about it all the time. So I know you're feeling. Okay, Sean, go ahead. And then it'll go on, Karen, Nick. Sorry, I take the same unmute there. Yep. Gotcha. So, um, so we go live and it switches all that over. So there's the the button that says share with Facebook. Are you saying that that doesn't work? We it still doesn't. have to individually. Yeah, it it, it doesn't. And so what what you want to do is let me, let me explain it this way. Important for everybody on this call. Important period. Even if you don't like Facebook or you don't necessarily like Instagram, you have to make it like part of your weekly process to spend three to five minutes on it going through the feed, okay? Going through the feed because the reason is everyone in the world now has one of these and they spend the whole damn day just doing this, just doing this on their thumb going through things. So you need, you need to see what things look like. Facebook has made massive shifts even in the last like two to three weeks where before it used to look like the normal Facebook feed. Now it's like heavily, heavily indexed on reels. It's not even pages or people you follow anymore. It's reels from strangers. The only way to get a reel onto Facebook is to upload it directly to Facebook. There's no connection currently that pushes one out of the other. So if you make a reel on, on Instagram, a minute and a half or less, you have to download it out of Instagram and upload it to Facebook. If you're doing a live broadcast, in Facebook's eyes, that's not really a reel. It's just a normal video, right? So if you're, if you're going to do the live art show, for instance, on Instagram, you would just do it on Instagram and then, and then we maybe, lost your sound. Yeah. I muted myself. I think Am I unmuted now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I know, I know this is complicated. It's complicated for me to even explain sometimes <laughs> and, it, and, it, and, it, and it moves so fast, right? Like, you know, it's just like, and so yeah, that's where we're at. Okay. She's like, I cool. think that, she's like, I think that was an answer, but I might still be confused. Yeah, myself. I kind of got that. I'm, I'm yeah. still the, like, because trying to create stories on their own, it's, I like, I have not been able to figure it out yes. because it's, it's all these little pieces and different parts. And it, and it, I hit the wrong button and all of a sudden the same thing's repeating itself over. And no, it, it's, it's really welcome, annoying. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. What, 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 what Sean, what Sean knows that because she's a customer and I hear it and say it all the time, the, frustration is normal and it never goes away and as, nope. soon as, you, as soon as you come to terms with that you're like okay i can get on with life this is always going to be confusing this is always going to be driving me nuts and i'm just going to keep grinding doing what i'm doing so we'll 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 do more of this internally i mean 
you know, we'll do a ton of sessions of this internally for all of you guys. Um, I just wanted to get this one out on a Friday because like this is all brand new information. I figured out a lot of this this week. Um, that especially that whole little loop that I showed right there on Instagram, which is, I mean, it's insane. That's just insane. The fact that I can, it's insane. It doesn't even make sense how insane that is. So anyway, uh, more on this internally. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Okay, Juan. Juan Carlos, go ahead. Hi. Hi. Um, <clears throat> I have, so I just wanted to be clear, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the reels, you want us to take a video and then get us like a, a still shot, just a screen, like a, a picture and put it in front of the video and then upload it. So it'll give you the option of one or two or more um, files to make the reel with. Exactly. So if you, if you utilize the technique that I just advocated where you start by going live on Instagram, then once the broadcast ends, you can save it so that it becomes a reel. When you save it, you're able to upload that custom thumbnail. And that makes it look way more compelling. And as such, you're going to get way more people looking at it if you do that. So that's, that's what I'm saying. But this is completely isolated to that whole technique that I just walked you through, which is you go live on Instagram, you end the broadcast, you save it as a reel, post the reel to the story. So yes, I do. I want you to put it in there. Okay. Well, I don't want to confuse anyone. So I'm going to say this real quick. And like, you don't, it's just a yes or no question. You know, I just want to make sure that you know I understand and like we're on the same page. Yeah. So like if you're familiar with Snapchat at all, like you know whenever you you um, record something, you mm -hmm. can save it before you post it. Yes. Is it gonna be like that? It is kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's so exactly what you said. Like you um, do a live, and then it gives you the option to save. And then you can upload it again. And it's like YouTube where you put like a still shot or a thumbnail. Exactly. So that exactly it's, right. that's the image that you can choose for people to see whenever it's on their options to view. Exactly right. Okay. Um, I get that. Uh, what else? Um, I have it. I, I actually have it up. So whenever I was doing, oh no. Whenever I was doing the Queen of England, like, well, last week was really hard for me to post. Um, I just kept, I actually made three posts about the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. um, and then I guess all of them per posting is merchandise. I finished my mugs and my totes. Mm -hmm. I was, I'm having like issues because totes don't come with a zipper or a Velcro to close the top i wish they had that yeah um you don't you don't always get to pick all the all the the, the greatest in merchandise you, you just have to sort of be um gracious when it comes to the merchandise right like the most amazing thing about the merchandise at a macro is the fact that there's no minimum orders and you don't have to warehouse this stuff obviously you make you have to make compromises as a result of that right and, and right on. They're, they are way worth it because to think back in the day, you used to have to order a thousand calendars and stack them up in the corner of your garage and have the anxiety about what the heck you're going to do trying to sell calendars from 2010 and 2011, <laughs> right? So you, you have to just be gracious that, that the, you know, the merch is what it is. But one, I've got, yeah. a, I've got a hard stop in seven minutes. So I'm going to try to motor through a couple more questions. Anything else, just ask internally. Cool? Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Okay, Nick, you're up next, and then I'll probably have time for one more after that. Otherwise, you guys are going to have to get me internally. Go ahead, Nick. Okay, um, just real quick. I love your. Yeah, I love you the said background. Have by merchandise the way. on hand. The back, the background you have here is super compelling. By the way, I found that my eye. So, like when you go into the, like the the gallery view, right? Um, and let's see if I can get him on the gallery view. Where is he? Is he in this one? Yeah, here it is. But I found, I found so. I'm sorry, I have to go on a, a short tangent, but just let me do it. So there's software that maps where eyeballs go on the desktop. It like follows the mouse, right? And so one of the early marketing tricks that you would do is you would get a web page and you would put up a grid of images, kind of like this zoom grid right here of images, right? And you would throw it on the web page and you would send a bunch of traffic to it and you would watch where the mouse went to. And the mouse always went to the most compelling image. And so I was looking at the grid the whole time and I kept getting drawn to yours. And I don't know if that's like me personally because I just kind of like, you know, that, that garage archy ceiling look. But anyway, it's compelling. So you should, you should use it. I would lead with it. 
good background. Cool. Good background. I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing that then. Good, good. job. Thank good. you. You're like, I'm here. I'm here already anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Good. Um, my question is about having merchandise on hand. Always. Uh, how important? Mandatory. Mandatory. You guys, you guys all screw up on this because you don't realize, you know. I'm a Christian guy at the end of the day, so I say what are that, you that doing God has blessed you with like phenomenal powers of visualization, right? Like you guys, because you're the artists, are are capable of like posting a JPEG, and 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 people can visualize that on the wall, right? Like you can visualize that on the wall as like hanging wall art. We can't. Normal human beings can't do that. We do not. We are not blessed with your power of visualization. We need to see the real thing. I need to be able to see it to understand what it looks like. You don't need 10 of them, though. You just need one, right? Like, okay, so I that, yeah, throw, that yeah, answers my question. Because I was, yeah. Yeah. like, what kind of inventory? Or can one. I do, inventory my printer of does one. drop shipping. Yes, inventory okay. of one. That's it. And then you're totally Thank dialed you. in. Yeah, thank you. Um, independent of all that, we have, we have essentially a month and seven days until november starts once november starts you guys know the sales start so the work that we put in on instagram right now will pay dividends down the line so we're hammering instagram for a reason yes the rules are changing yes it's confusing yes it's crazy but it also represents one of the best opportunities in terms of marketing and getting extra views on the content that i've ever seen so we're going to continue teaching it uh, we're going to continue banging the drum at it. You'll see me continuing to do more and more Instagram lives. For those that are not customers um, yet and are at all interested in becoming customers, it is a particularly good time to sign up. I'm not saying that as a sales pitch. I'm just saying we now build your entire website for you. You don't have to do that anymore, um, which is a, a new part of an offering. So that's an awesome thing. So if anyone that's interested in that, um, get a demo. They can walk you through all of those things. And I literally have a hard stop in four minutes. I'm going to go through the questions as quickly as possible. There's three hands left. Uh, it's Karen, 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 and Suzanne. So be succinct, be succinct. Um, Karen, you start, Karen Hirsch. And then thank I'll you, thank you, thank you. This is yeah. exactly what I wanted. Um, so uh, could you explain how to do a carousel and the voiceover? Because when I try to do a voiceover on multiple photos, it, all, it stopped at five seconds. And and for the carousel, I, I kept having add, yeah, adding five seconds, five seconds. I don't even know how to do that, period. Are you, you're, are you talking about on Instagram? They allow voiceover on the carousel? No, 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 no. Oh, you're talking about uh, real. I'm doing a reel on Instagram, and I wanted multiple yeah, photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that is a very good question, and it's there's no way I'm going to be able to answer it in three minutes or less. I would Google it. And guess what? If I was trying to figure it out, Karen, I would Google it. And not Google it, YouTube. YouTube. Honestly, it's like it, YouTube is, and, 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 but do YouTube. I would explain it, but I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to explain that in three minutes. Um, YouTube, because things change so quickly, is literally the only way to stay up to date in today's day and age. There is no other way. It happens so damn fast. Okay, Karen Loftus, go and try to be quick if you can, because now I've got two minutes left. Okay, so I was doing this thing that you suggested where I reply to a reel. Yes, love that. And those. I've got this thing. Uh -huh. So um, if I have a small number of likes, mm -hmm. is this one of those examples where I should delete it and no, put it back no, again? No, no, no. You could, but the replies the replies are kind of cool. So keep, I would keep the reply up. I would keep the reply okay. up. On all the so other... regardless yeah, of yeah. the comments or yeah, the yeah, hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On all the okay. others, on all the others, yes. You can delete okay. every question. And I love the idea of being able to put a video or a photo in the back of my reel. I did it for my Thursday boost, yeah, whatever yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really fun. Yeah. So thank you. You're cooking with gas. Karen, I appreciate it. Have a great weekend, both of you, Karen. Okay, Suzanne, you're the last one. I got two minutes. You got to unmute, Suzanne. Do you need some kind of tripod if you want no. to make a no. professional looking video of yourself with your art? No. You don't. No. You just no. hold the phone and then hold the art with the other hand. Yep. Or you can use anything that you have in the house to festoon it to lean it against. I mean, sometimes it helps to get one of those little tripods, and you can. I, I sort right. of like. I sort of like. I want to grab it because it's kind of a cool one. Hold on. I kind of like these ones called Gorilla Pods because they're really like 
the, you see the legs in the bottom and they're not that expensive yeah. and you can see this one holds the phone but you can literally like you know i can take it and i could strap it to my mic boom if i have to right or i can set it on a table or i i can do anything like let alone right. hold it you know if i want to do selfie style these are these are really really handy other than that you don't need anything you want to that press a button um, on the phone to make the video keep going what does it press a button on the phone, the tripod, to make the video keep going? That one doesn't, no. So you just turn it on, and it'll stay on until you stop it. Exactly right. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, all right, guys, I'm up against it. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. I will e email all of you guys the replay. Um, this is an ever, ever evolving world that we're living in. So, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about this is that by the minute, by the time you learn it, and by the time you get good at it, and the time you really start enjoying it, they'll take it away from all of us. So, gotta make, gotta make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> gotta make hay while the sun shines, and just know it's equally frustrating for all of us. Okay, it's equally frustrating for all of us. Um, all right, guys, see you later now.